Hey everyone, welcome to this episode. I am in my favorite place, which is on my front lanai. And it's a little bit warm out today. It's a Sunday afternoon here in Florida. And I'm actually experimenting with a new camera. So this is all gonna be really fun. But the purpose of today's episode is all about the exact process. How do we go about buying a home? And it's not just specific to the villages. It is we buy a home in Florida because every state is going to be a little bit different on how you close and go through the process. So let's get to it. I may have to turn the fan on. Right, I'm going to go turn the fan on. I'm not sweating to death. I actually played pickleball for quite a while this morning, so I'm still in that boat. Okay, so now the first step is to decide how you are going to make that purchase monetarily. Will this be a cash sale or will you finance the home or is it a combination of the two? Um, obviously the easiest is cash. Cash can close very quickly, but with cash sale, we need proof of funds. And that is simply a letter from your bank or from with your stocks, something that document that shows from some type of financial institution that you do have enough money to cover the transaction. If you're financed, we need a pre-approval letter from a lending institution and it'll have your name on it and how much the home purchase price is, the most you can purchase um, for the terms and that good stuff so we know exactly the price range that you can purchase from because if you find one, you cannot make an offer. We have to have proof of funds or a pre-approval letter to submit with an offer for you to purchase your and in a hot market, which we still are in a hot market, and this is May 15th, 2022, homes are still going at full asking price and over nice homes. Now, of course, there are some, I'm gonna say it, there are some dogs out there. There are some dogs out there that are sitting on the market. And if they're sitting for any length of time, it probably because the location is bad, um, needs work. That's the big culprit. They need work, they need a roof. How are you going to finance a deal? Number one, cash, finance, a combination of the two. You're buying a home and maybe you're going to put a big down payment down. So we need both. We need the pre-approval letter and the proof of funds for the rest of the transaction. So it's because you're going to find that perfect home and you want to be ready to go. Okay. Let me cheat you here. All right. So next, the hard part. We have to find you a home. All right, so now let's find you a home. This is an MLS, a sample of an MLS saved search I have uh, when I have clients looking for homes, which I have lots. Um, I just check what's new to market and see what they're looking for and I start to send out my email. So for example, I'm gonna use this home. Uh, I have a client looking for a patio villa, so I'll search it. Uh, look for the particulars, see what imperfections I can find because you pretty much can find a lot in the photos or I can because I've looked at so many photos, but I'll just go through it and see, is this going to fit? Do I have anybody else that might be looking for this? And if I do, I send the email out and keep going through all of the homes that are new to market. We have right now 125 homes, I think it is. Um, all ranging from 179,000 manufactured home to 2.1 million, which we're going to take a quick peek at that at the end here. So that's just my process. Here we go. Here's this home. $2.1 million has been on the market 41 days. Uh, that's not unusual for a really expensive home. They'll sit for a little bit. Uh, market's not that hot for $2 million homes here in the villages anyway. Uh, the least expensive home we have up here is a manufactured home and I can tell if it's site built or manufactured home on the side where it says property style. Um, you're going to see it indicates it's a fixer upper. So I will check to see if I have anybody there. looking for fixer uppers. And that's it. So that's how I help you find your next home. Next step. 
we found the home, how do we make that offer? You found the home, let's make an offer. Uh, you probably can't see that there's a little bit of a glare there, but we need to complete a contract with your offer. Um, the things we need, the name on the deed, how you want to hold title for the property. Here's a tip. In the state of Florida, if you are a married couple, you must own the property together if it's your primary residence. If it's an investment property, then you can hold title in either or name. It doesn't have to be both. So you should know that, especially if you're coming from out of state. If you're in the process of getting a divorce, you may need to get your spouse's permission. We did have that happen over the summer and thankfully everything was resolved very quickly. Um, so let's get back to the offer. The price of the home, if it's on the market a couple of days, it's more than likely going to, going to go for full asking price, if not more. But the items you need to take into consideration and always consult with your realtor because we see so many homes and go through and work with so many people. We kind of have a really good idea of what is going to happen in this process. Um, the roof, the HVAC, and the hot water heater. Those are the three big items that we need to take into consideration when making our offer. And also, if there are any updates that you wish to make, like you walk in and say, I don't like the carpet, I wanna change out the flooring, I need to paint the cabinets, you need to take those things into consideration. But remember this, if this home you love, you love the location, you love the layout of the home, it might need some minor updates to fit your needs. In this market, again, I mentioned this earlier, it's still a hot market. I am seeing a little bit of a, a slowing down, but nice homes are going quickly. Make an offer that states, I want this home because I have had several instances where the next day my buyers are like, I don't know why I did that. I lost that home over $1,000 or $2,000 and it was still within their budget but they just let it go. So remember that when you're making your offer. Another item, um, so we have the deed, um, how you wanna hold title, um, your offer, your escrow deposit. If it's an expensive home, maybe you know well over $500,000, uh, they might be looking for at least a $10,000 deposit, escrow deposit. Um, but typically we see around $5,000. We only need this money once we have a fully executed agreement and we'll get to that just in a second. Um, also, um, some items that you can consider that, I don't wanna say are really negotiable, but we have 15 days to get inspection completed on your home. But for the most part, we indicate 10 days. And in, as is contract, that's your time to go through the home and decide if there's a lot of things wrong with it once you get your inspection report, if you wanna continue with the process. There's another type of contract uh, for sale and purchase that they use primarily here in the villages, but those two things are a whole other video, which I will make in the next week or two to describe the two different types of contracts because those are really important things you need to know. Um, Acceptance state, how long do you wanna give the sellers to decide if they wanna accept your offer or not? For the most part, I put in by 5 p.m. the next day, unless I think there are going to be a lot of offers, we might want to push them a little bit, um, case by case basis. Closing date, cash sales, we can close in about 30 days, maybe shorter. It all depends. Uh, finance deals usually take about 45 because the bank will require an appraisal and a survey and that holds the process up just a little bit. Um, I'm seeing VA loans being able to close in 30 days, um, which is great. And that would be on pre-owned homes. Um, FHA, I really don't deal much with FHA in the villages, more so outside of the villages. And uh, USDA, of course, we don't deal with here that's outside so how you want to hold title the price you want to offer the escrow deposit acceptance closing date and inspection those are the 
biggies on the contract. A fully executed agreement is an offer that the buyers have signed, you send over to the seller, and when the seller accepts your offer, they sign it. And then we're under contract and we move forward. Next step, your escrow deposit, which we just talked about as well, um, the inspection. We're gonna go take a real quick peek at an inspection that just happened on one of the homes for my buyer and take a look at that. I wanna thank Sean Sterner of Sterner Home Inspection for sponsoring this portion of the video. Sterner Home Inspections is located in the villages and surrounding areas for your site built and manufactured home. Again, Sterner Home Inspections, thank you for sponsoring this portion of the video. Last step now that we have found our home, made our offer, it's been accepted, we have gone through the inspection, the last thing to do is actually go to closing and that's where you get your keys, seller gets their check, and everybody is happy. Um, but to get to this process, again with cash sale, it takes about 30 days and really what we're waiting for is uh, a clear title and then we can go through closing. Uh, finance takes a little longer because the bank has to go through their processes. We get a clear to close. Buying and selling realtors will receive a copy of the closing statement and in that statement we make sure that everything is correct. The sell price is correct. Um, the taxes, we look at all of those things, the fees, it's if we see anything out of the norm. Um, we both say yes, it's okay to go, everything looks good. We send it back to the title company and they send it to the bank or they send it to the buyer um, and the monies get wired to the title company. If you're mail away, you'll get a packet that you have to sign. If you're financing your mail away, the bank will send a notary to you. Each process is different and too much detail to go into the and this video. But if you do have any questions, please uh, list them in the comments below. Email me or call me. My information is right up here. And I will help you uh, answer the questions as best I can. Um, and that's really it. The closing process is simple. Once we get to that, you know, it's just signing documents and you're done. You're ready to go enjoy your home, whether it's in the villages or anywhere in Florida. Um, please, if you have not done so already, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and like this video, uh, make any comments. Um, it helps my channel grow and it helps my content get out there. Um, I am Robin Cavallaro, a licensed realtor here in the state of Florida. If you're interested in buying or selling a home here in Florida, give me a call. I'm your girl. I have some fun outtakes coming up. Also, announcement. Uh, my work partner, Donnie Stokes, and my friend Tina Verderosa, we have started a new company, a home watch company called Locked and Secure. We will have a video coming up about that, but if you have a rental property or you're a snowbird and you want some information about how we can come and watch your home, also send me a message. Be happy to take care of that for you. So, anyway, all right, these are plants that I actually haven't killed. That's because they're Thai. There's more than one. And this is actually grown up. You can see that one. I bought that one when I first moved here. I don't have a green thumb. Not at all. I hate gardening. My father used to say he would blacktop the yard and spray paint it green, and I'm of that opinion. Yeah, I think I may have even said that in another video, so anyway. All right, everyone. Now that you've bought your home, go out and have some fun, okay? After you move all your stuff in, that is. Until next time, I'm out of here.
I said I was going to talk about after. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I feel like John Bon Jovi at that concert when he forgot the words to the one song. Hmm.